Hello everyone. So today we have Sayan with us. Sayan was a year-long course student with us from Vikram 2.0 batch, and this year he have secured like great ranks. We will start from IACS. He have got an All India rank of five in IACS examination. He have got a All India rank of two zero seven in NEET UG examination. He have got an All India rank of. 1582 in JE advance examination he have got an all india rank of 213 in ISA aptitude test he have got an all india rank of 220 yep. 20 in nest examination and what left ISI ISI, ISI he have got an all india rank of 23 so right from the top research institute for mathematics Indian Statistical Institute ISI 21 rank to 640 rank in NEET UG and getting AIR 5 in IACS examination all these ranks Shayan have produced with his self study and through the course assessed through Vikram 2.0 course and have you uh, enrolled to any offline center for your je or uh, je advance or neet ug preparation no 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 offline coaching no, no. so totally depending upon the year long course of vikram 2.0 going to his school and doing the self study he have prepared for all of these examination it's a great uh, encouragement to all the students like who do not have the facility to go to the offline center spend lakhs of rupees of their parents right sitting at their home they can prepare to the best of level what say and what will you will say what you will recommend to the future aspirant many of the students think like when they are from a remote area the, they do not have the accessibility of the top branded coachings and they think like they are not in the competition what will be your thought about that if you study well online coaching is enough it's good enough and what was your experience with siestra yeah it was a great experience so starting from the classes the, co uh, the courses the dpps the tests so everything were top notch how you use the siestra classes and the materials in your preparation like uh, you usually students get backlog while preparing for the examination what was your approach while attending the classes you are also having your school uh, na so uh, when when you miss uh, the classes what you did i was the recording when i was free like in the break time i used to watch the recordings okay so your main focus for live classes if it got missed then you will watch the recordings yes. and uh, followed by the uh, recordings so you will do the dpp yes so <coughs> dpp uh, like how, how important do you consider question solving in your preparation the dpp is and mock test they are very important like uh, usually more important than covering the whole theory Yeah, so like your uh, main focus was question solving. Yes. How many questions you were doing a day? At least thirty per subject. Thirty plus subject, starting from the course. Yes. One twenty questions, Sayan was practicing daily in his preparation, and I think uh, it will be even more while the exam was uh, near to you, na? Yeah. I saw your starts in the application. You attempted about one twenty seven. mock test including the chapter wise mock that were uploaded in the last moment so how much you are getting in these mock test around 190 to 200 was the average and uh, how much did you got in isa aptitude test exactly the same exactly the same uh, you got 196 sir around na in isa aptitude test examination so uh, the similar score sayan got in the iser aptitude test examination what he was getting in the siestra mocks and what do you uh, say how relevant were the mock test in comparison to the actual examination they were extremely relevant like most of them were much above the it level not no test was below that level yeah so 
they were either off the level or, or above. above the level uh, what do you think many students uh, like even bass us like why you are giving us the tough mocks huh? <laughs> give us the easy mocks what will be your thought about that uh, what do you think during the preparation doing easier mocks would have been more helpful or this mocks were uh, good to go easier ones gives us false hopes like they don't actually test yeah that gives hopium <laughs> okay so like these tough mocks helped you to uh, stay in the focus and yeah not get that uh, extra confidence uh, like that is just the false hope yeah. so what was your approach while solving the mock test Gosh. how did you go from uh, physics chemistry math biology subjects start with biology chemistry physics and then maths or math what was the average time you give to biology to physics to chemistry each of the subject and did you do the paper in one round or two round or what strategy you were following while attempting the mock test for bio and chemistry i used the single round means the first subject is 15 to 20 minutes is enough and for maths and physics used two rounds okay uh, so uh, like uh, while attempting the mock test in the part uh, syllabus mock test while you were in the vikram 2.0 course so what were your target like do you consider these mock tests seriously while uh, in the course when you used to have the mock test 1 2 3 when these mocks were conducted will would you try to complete the syllabus before the mock test and make an attempt of these mock tests seriously or like you you used to take it casually Every test needs to be taken seriously. Like so, it's a part or a whole one. So you used to take all these part syllabus tests also seriously in your yes. preparation. So, Sam, any message you want to give to the future IIT Nest and all the research enthusiasts? Uh, you are getting uh, top uh, uh, government medical seat. You are also getting a seat in uh, in the top IITs, uh, but you are choosing research. you uh, like uh, you are aiming to get into uh, either pune or as a bangalore no yes, yes so what will be uh, your message to the future iit nest aspirants try to give your best practice as many questions as possible and what resource uh, they should uh, use yes yeah, sastra is enough it's more than enough so like just the lectures and the material the dpp books and yes, all yes. Huh? Sen, you have interacted with a lot of other uh, fr- your friends and all the students that prepare for uh, all the entrance examination. So, what do you think? What worked for you that uh, uh, like many of the students struggle for? Like, we should focus more on questions than on theory. Like, questions. If we do questions, theory will come automatically. So, it's not the reverse. Like, if you do theory, questions might not come as well. so you m- focus more on the question solving part rather than the uh, theory na no? yes yeah so yeah th- that's a great approach and you you were having this approach starting from the course starting from your preparation yes huh? starting from 11 12 yeah. you always focus more on the question solving part rather yeah. than just going through the theory all right so this was sayan with us and we also have uh, science parents uh, so auntie was telling sayan do not have a mobile phone so you used to f- uh, use the phone from your mother's mobile ha huh? yes so uh, you did not have that craving like all your friends would be having your mobile phone but you do not have no no, no. and you were attending the class uh, mock everything from the uh, laptop yes. okay so uh, like while i was preparing it was 2017 18 uh, there students used to have that dabba wala phone uh, 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 like a smartphone was not a big thing not everyone used to have but at uh, in 2025 a student not having a smartphone and uh, uh, totally relying on his mother's phone it is a commendable thing sir so you you are an inspiration to all the students and uh, 
like we uh, we wish you you will guide all the future aspirants also like we will have, we have these kind of uh, uh, talks and sessions in the batches yeah, like uh, have you ever attended any stress buster session sort yes, of yes, thing yes. yeah so like uh, there you used to have na so uh, now you will be also invited to one of these sessions as a speaker and uh, uh, more students uh, in all the sashtra courses will be getting the guidance of sayan the mentorship uh, like uh, overall journey what sayan have is commendable and this is what we want from the student like and uh, the serious diligent preparation not thinking much about the results you are doing your class 12th you also scored good in your boards yes. and uh, you like uh, uh, we were discussing like you were not panicking in all these examinations and all no. na like uh, one day before what you do uh, before nothing. all nothing like the chill uh, chill pile and yeah for you the exams were like uh, let's see how much it comes na yes. <laughs> so like you are not getting attached too much with the results mm. so yeah so this mindset this attitude tells us a lot and this is what we want from all the students uh, and you can see like enjoying the subjects and you are also open to all four subjects na yes. you have not yet chosen mm. what field you will go uh you will discover this thing in in the aizer pune as a bangalore what institute you go na yes so he is totally open he enjoys physics chemistry math biology all the subjects so this is the real thing this is the real approach that a student needs to follow thank you so much sayan for coming and having this interaction uh, and uh, yeah we wish to see you in the future Uh, such interaction sessions with the student mm-hmm.